The bright lights release secretly broke Plasma Mainline, and this video will prove it. So what Plasma Mainline does is it enters the arena with 5 steam counters on it, and when a Mechanologist item enters the arena under our control, we may move a steam counter from Mainline to that item. Now although this effect seems pretty underwhelming at first, what if I told you that it has a minimum of 10 points of value alone? To explain how, each of these steam counters, when moved to cards like Teclo Core or Teclo Pounder, gives us an extra turn to use these effects, which are both valued respectively at 2 points each. And Plasma Mainline lets us do this up to 5 times in a single game. This means if we play OG Dash and choose it as our starting item, we literally start the game with 10 points of value on the board, which is insane. Now if you're like me, you're probably wondering why this hasn't already been abused in the previous metas, because this card's been out for over a year now. And the answer is simple. There were only two items in the game that enabled Mainline to get its full 10 points of value before Bright Lights. That meant that you only had six cards in your entire deck, that could use Mainline's ability effectively. And having to play five out of these six cards from our deck just to turn on our Mainline just wasn't consistent. But now, with the access to extra powerful items, we can both up the power level and consistency of our Plasma Mainlines. The main one we'll be abusing in this build is Penetration Script. Getting an extra turn on the plus one to all of our attacks can easily get more than the expected plus two value from the Mainline counter. And that's especially when you take into account that now we can use the extra counter to crank or still keeping the effect for an additional turn after and in our testing just these eight items plus spark of genius were easily enough to fully abuse the mainline value every single game the main reason being since we're getting extra turns of these powerful effects not only did that keep our opponent constantly on the back foot but it also meant we gained extra turns to look for the next item and set that up at the same time and this game plan just completely snowballed every single game that we played using this strategy so much so that I had to make this vid but now to round out our deck list we're still just running your typical Max V and High Octane Shell, but with a few exceptions. We have two backup protocol reds. I like to think of these as extra Max Vs first and foremost, but also as a zero cost crank item that we can search off Spark, essentially letting us turn Spark into a zero cost draw to go again. And now due to the extra crank items, Expedite and Medex became serious threats in this shell and have honestly overperformed like crazy, which is why I went up to six of each. But that's it for the deck tech. Let's just get straight into the game and show you the real power of this shit. So real quickly before we get into it, adaptive plating just isn't coded into Talishar yet sadly, so that's why I have Galvanic Bender in instead of using plating, which is just a clear upgrade to the bender. But yeah, to get into the game, I always like to go first because of our high chances of being able to set up an item turn zero and begin the snowball. And here that's exactly what happens. So just gonna filter one of these medexes to load our pistol, then play the spark for zero for a tech low core and move a steam counter over to it. Arsenal is high octane and pass. Opponent's turn, they lead off with a high octane, which is kind of scary. Then they follow up with a BIOS update into a T-bone for four. This matchup is a straight race, so not gonna block anything here. Give my legs, take four down to 36. Then they follow up with a spark for zero, grabbing a tech low core. The spark draws them into an optical monocle as well. So they play that out, then pass it to us. So over on ours, we got a big one. Core triggers, giving us two resources. Gonna use one of those resources to play high octane from Arsenal, drawing into a penetration script which is a huge draw. So I was just gonna double high octane them this turn, but now I just wanna set up the penetration script, high octane and tech low core turn for the next turn, or still dropping 20 something damage right now. So gonna lead off with Medex first, trying to cheat in our crank item here. So swinging them for two and they snap no blocks. So we get insane value here. Get to put the P script into play. No need to crank since we already have enough action points as is. Next we swing with the other medex for five, which the opponent takes again. So down to 29 and we have three action points. So we end off with three pistol attacks, putting them all the way down to 23, while still having two more turns of each of these broken items on the field and arsling another high octane. This is a really good start, but we pass it to them. On theirs, they opt four cards to the bottom using their monocle. Then they use BIOS update into a red zipper for eight. They boost over a boom grenade, which triggers the BIOS so it comes into play instead. I'm the one with all the broken items on the field though, so there's no way I'm blocking here. So we take 10 down to 26, then they activate Foundry Heart, play out a Pounder, Arsenal their last card, and ship it back. So now on ours, core triggers again, play the high octane again off one of those resources, and then we draw into a blue, which is perfect. Lead off with a red zero for five. Opponent puts a crown in front, trying to filter their hand. So take three, down to 20, follow up with another zero for five. They take that as well, down to 15. Then we pulse wave and the opponent just 
just conceit, which is kind of sad. Since I still had a spark in hand, I had all my pistol shots coming up. Honestly, they were for sure dead, so I understand why they conceded but sad they didn't let me play it out. But I wanted to show this game first to just show the individual power of all of these items. But let's get into the next game now. So next game, we're up against a Dory. We get to go first again, which is what I like. So again, gonna load my pistol, spark for a penetration script, and then Arsenal the zipper, pass it to them. Over on theirs, they have an insane turn coming. Spoils of war into steel blade supremacy, swinging in for seven with Dawnblade with a card still in hand. Now I really should just block this, but I wanted to limit test this deck list since it was early in to our testing so i'm gonna say no blocks here take seven down to 33 and then they draw then they plow through and swing in for eight on hit draw on hit counter and i know for sure that i should block eight here at least since it's gonna prevent them having an arsenal save me a lot of life and then and keep the counter off the dawn blade but again i'm trying to limit test my damage so take it we're all the way down to 25 to start the game yikes but then they arsenal and pass to us so now over on ours wanted to make sure to get our full penetration script value so lead off with zipper for six they take that down to 34 follow up with another zipper for five again they take it down to 29 now i'm going to pulse wave for five with x equals three they show us a glistening a blessing and a route snap taking that glistening which is huge for us and just going to keep in mind that they have that route for the next turns but they take two down to 27 and then we end off with pistol for two putting them down to 25 arsenal with this other p script pass to them over on theirs they pitch a blue to play a plow through from arsenal and swing dawnblade for seven so we know they have the route and the blessing in hand which is a little bit awkward so i'm actually going to put both of my my max bees and my chest piece in front this is the force of route out of their hand while letting me keep one of them so i can arsenal at this turn it also lets me save a little bit of hp at the same time so we do that and they play the route bounce one of the max bees we end up taking six down to 19 and then they just pass to us the sad thing is though that our hands a little bit awkward here so we're just going to zero for four here they snap take it down to 21 i push the throttle to the foundry heart load my pistol and play the penetration script from arsenal arsenal this max b pass to them over on theirs they have another decent one steel blade into swing for six i'm still trying to limit test though so no blocks and hope they don't have go again which they didn't so that's nice but we take six down to 13 then they play out an iron song pride that i assume they just drew arsenal their last card and pass to us now over on our turn we're gonna need a big one here so i lead off with zero for four they take it down to 17 now i can follow it with the spark here for protocol to grab me a booster but i realized i don't have a red zero in the grave right now now, which is a bit of a yikes so I grab a core instead and just hope to draw something nice so we do that and we end up drawing into a high octane which is kind of big I activate my boots here to get my action point back and I'm actually gonna play the high octane here because if I draw zero cost boost I can still max V but if I draw anything else I can just use that card to help pistol them a couple times at the end of the turn so it's always a win-win for me so we do that and then we draw into the zero cost boost massive so swing the med X for five they take it down to 12, expedite next for four, putting them down to eight. Then I activate my foundry heart and swing in for 11 with the max V, massive. So now the opponent's forced to give me their boots, two cards from hand, and I still have an action point to shoot them again for an additional two damage with the pistol. And now they're down to two, then we pass to them. So that turn was probably the game winner for us, but over on theirs, they swing in for five here. Just gonna give my equipment to save some life, but more so because I wanna filter this max out of my hand now. So we do that, drawing into a blue zero to 60, but we take one down to 12 and then they pass to us. So over on ours, just checking the math correctly and I'm pretty sure we can commit for lethal here because we still have a penetration script on the board. So lead off with zero for three, opponent blocks it. Then we follow up with the throttle for five, opponent gives us a card and a tunic going down to one next we pulse wave for five which the opponent has to double block as well then we can just kill with the pistol after that so they conceded so as you can see this mainline list is kind of fucking broken i'm not gonna lie just casually keeping some of the most broken items in the game on the field for the entirety of your matches which makes racing this deck impossible in my opinion so yeah deck list in the description test it out for yourselves and see if you guys can find anything that we couldn't but that's it for the video we out